buttons are buoyant things, and buoyancy in braces keep things up. In the case of balloons, the buoying agent is lighter than air hydrogen. It's made in the laboratory. Of course, there are other devices for keeping things up, and some of them are worth looking into. Ivor the Imp is kept up by specific gravity. A block of ice with the specific gravity of 0.92 is contrasted with a tin of 7.29. The ice floats and the tin sinks. The imp's secret is his open tail. The water in his little tummy or thereabouts changes level with change of pressure on his tail. If water is forced in, he sinks. If out, he rises. The pressure is varied by means of the cork. Living all alone in his wee bottle, Ivor's existence is rather umdrum. No sooner is he up in the morning than he's down for the count. Oh, poor Ivor. This theory of displacement was discovered in the pre-Christian era. It's demonstrated by a lead weight that exactly fits a brass container. Both are hung on a balance beam and counterpoised until the arm swings level. Having been carefully weighed, the container is filled with water and sinks. The added water has the same volume as the lead weight. We put the weight into a glass and fill up with water. In a moment, the beam will swing level again because that exact weight of water made it sink. The same thing is shown in a different way by this spring balance. It proves the old Archimedean law that a body weighs lighter in water than in air by the weight of an equal bulk of water. The plimsoll line on a ship shows how far she may sink in the water with safety. Of course, some floating bodies are already sunk pretty low. How do you like to give them a kick in the plimsoll? <laughs> 